I may be late to the game, but I'm still in the game. Hey everyone, how's it going? So, in this box is my KS0 Ultra. This is not sponsored by Ice River or anyone else. I bought this with my own money from T-Swift. Um, so let's get this unboxed and see what we can do with it. So inside the box, I got the KS0 Ultra. I got one without the power supply. I got a separate one I bought off of Amazon and just the top packaging. Let's get it out of the box. So here's the KS0 Ultra out of the box. Looks like every other unit that you've seen from Ice River in the nice, nice little mini style. Ice River KS0 Ultra. And it's laid out exactly the same as the rest of them. What I do find interesting though, is they just added this on in the last version, the KS0 Ultra. I've never had this on the original or the Pro. They actually have a warranty void if removed sticker. So they can get people to stop modding these. Guess what, Ice River? Nice try, but no dice. This doesn't do anything here in America. So before we do any mods, I did print out a nice handy dandy stand, just like the rest of them, that it can sit in. And from Amazon, this is the power supply I am using. Laptop charger for MSI, laptop. It's another generic. Ooh, extra connectors. Extra wires. And a power supply. Okay, plastic inside of plastic. So this one is rated for DC output 19 and a half volts at 9.23 amps. More than enough to handle this unit. I think this is like a 180 watt one or something like that. But uh, yeah, it's got the regular connector. So yeah, that plugs in ah, nice and firmly. That's nice and strong. That's not loose like the other ones. So before we do any mods on this, let's run it normal because everyone else who's reviewed this so far has actually said if you cool this, it really drops the hash rate on it. So let's just see what it does out of the box and hook it up to a power meter. Okay, just powered it on. It just started mining. 100 watts right now. Exactly. Well, 100.8. And I pulled up the screen, pulled it right up with no problems. I didn't even have to do the latest firmware update yet. But you can see I caught it at 26 seconds. And let's see here. Down here at the bottom, you can see KS0 Ultra Miner version. So let me put my own information in here, get it start mining on my account, and we'll see what it does. Okay, so we got 30 minutes of run time. Currently pulling 110 to 111 watts. Here's our 30 minutes of run time. And we got 331 accepted chairs. You can see the fans are running about 3600, and the current temperature is 72C and 57C. I actually saw it five minutes ago when I was refreshing the page. It was actually 81C and the fan was only running 1500. So it's auto settling itself down after it really heats up. Looks like it has a ramp. It wants to warm up a lot and now it's coming back down. Let me refresh the page again real quick. Okay, now we're down to 70C and the fans are the same. So it looks like it wants to be around 70C, but it does let it go high at first. And if we also look... Uh, as it's cooling down, that's interesting because it actually said 405 giga hash for the five minute hash rate. And if we look here, as it cooled itself down, it's starting to go back down. So it's actually below 400. Otherwise, the whole other time, it's been happy. So that's interesting. Let's go pull side on Hero Miners just to confirm that it's actually there. And we can see KS0 Ultra at 425 giga hash. And one hour, 349. We haven't ran it for a full hour. So, yeah, that hasn't quite got there yet. So, let's try another quick test. Let me switch back over to the user interface and see if the hash rate keeps going down. I'm going to take this fan, turn it on medium, and really cool this thing down. Because, I, yeah, that thing will burn my hand right now <laughs> if I leave it on there. Let's cool it down for the next half hour and see if the hash rate takes a dump. So, interesting results now. After running for another half hour... We are now pulling 103 watts. The two internal 40 millimeter fans are automatically off. I did not turn them off. So the fans together are pulling about seven watts. You can see we are just over one hour of runtime. Our five minute hash rate is down to 355 giga hash. 
and we started up here went down and we've been significantly lower we actually went down to like 330 and i can confirm that pull side now the temperatures we're running about 47 c and 32 c i can actually leave my hand on this now with absolutely no problems uh let's scroll down a little bit and just confirm yes the fans are off so it is true this unit likes to run hot and also i noticed the internal fans kick on and kick off at 70c that's their threshold they do not want this unit running lower than 70c so i guess we're not going to modify this we're just going to let this run normal without a fan on it put it out in the shed which should be interesting because the shed is about 95 degrees fahrenheit right now in summer or 32 to 35c for uh, the rest of the world so let's go ahead and install this or deploy it in the shed let it run for an hour in a heat box and see what it actually does on its own with its own two little 40 millimeter fans and see if it stays happy okay got it all wired in over here so i got the original ks0 ks0 pro and now the ks0 ultra i got the power running to port 6 on my pdu and we can see on my phone if i go to the web output you can see we are pulling 104 watts right now on outlet six. So let's let it warm back up again, run for an hour and see if it can maintain a good temperature considering it's 95 degrees, even with these doors open. I'm gonna leave them open for an hour and see what happens. Let's go back down to the basement. Okay, so the miner is still in the shed. It's been an hour, actually an hour and one minute, zero pull rejection rate. And at the moment, we're running 452 giga hash. But if I back out, you'll see for the first 10 minutes, we're running just under 400 giga hash. We jumped down to like 370 at 20 minutes, jumped just above 400 at 25, back down at 35 minutes. Then it's been running basically 400 until the last five minute section. We just jumped up to 452. So that's an anomaly. It's running around 400 giga hash where it should be. Temperature is 72 to 73 C. I see it both right here. And it seems to be stable that the fans haven't kicked on yet. I know the fans kick off at 70 C. It doesn't want to get any colder than that. But maybe the fans don't kick on to almost 80 C. And I still got the shed doors open in the 90 plus degree heat. So there must be enough airflow that it's actually keeping its own temperature perfectly fine. Now if we check the power consumption on it. Oh, I am on the wrong one. Let's go back to ASICs. The third one, right here, 108 watts. That's what it's reading from, from the PDU. And let's double check the uh, mining over on HeroMiners.com. There's a KS0 Ultra, and currently 421 giga hash. And also, just a quick shout out. Yes, crew man, I was watching you <laughs> while I'm recording this. He is uh, trying to tune the new Zell's Hash V2 on a 3070. So that's really all I have for this video. I'm not going to modify it right now. I'm just going to let it run and see how it does in the summer heat. Let's refresh one more time. Okay, yeah, we haven't hit the next five minute mark yet, so we're at an hour and three minutes. But thanks for watching. Comments down below. And we'll see if any overclocking software does come out with this. I'm not sure if I want to overclock it yet or not. Let me know what you think. Take it easy, everyone.